Samit Malhotra now joins us, Managing Director with <coughs> Bajaj Consumer. Mr. Malhotra, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Everybody is talking about a visible slowdown. Slow some can feel it, some can smell it. There are some who can smell and feel it both. What is your sense? I mean, do you think the bad will get worse before it gets better? <laughs> Uh, I won't be a pessimist, but uh, I can tell you that it is a bad uh, quarter for the industry itself. And the signs at this point of time don't indicate uh, any change in this kind of a trajectory. So even though I, I would avoid being a pessimist, but uh, I would say that the outlook is cautious at this point of time. Just talk about where the demand uh, scenario was. Jan and Feb, every FMCG company I interacted with on See, this forum, outside this forum, was extremely gung-ho. Uh, margins were strong, growth was double-digit, companies like HUL were growing at about 8-9%, which was unheard of. Between Jan and now, it's about six months. What has changed? Yeah. I mean, everything cannot, uh, you know, demand cannot contract because of lack of liquidity or because what is happening to NBFCs. No, I don't think for our kind of a product, NBFCs have a major role to play. I, I think in uh, my opinion, the biggest difference has been that the upward trajectory of rural consumption has reversed sometime in uh, late April and May. And that's what you will see in the results uh, of, uh, of ours and also our competitors in the FMCG industry. Uh, to give you some facts, the fourth quarter, the overall hair oil industry grew by 8.9% and this quarter is grown by just 4.4%. So it's actually the growth rates have halved, which is uh, not a very uh, good sign. And if you look at, if you split that further between urban and rural, urban in that 85 was growing at around 8% it's gone down to 45 uh, and uh, rural has dropped from around 11% to 4.8%. So the biggest drop is in the rural areas and that consumption despite MSPs going up and all the hua about the elections hasn't really converted into any kind of money coming into the hands of the uh, rural uh, uh, populace. Okay, um, so you're, you're painting a fairly uh, candid picture of how things stand at a time like this. Mr. Malhotra, what I want to understand is that um, what is the outlook on your overall market share? How do you plan to preserve it at a time when you're looking at managing the overall pricing scenario? You had undertaken that hike as well that we saw uh, the last time around in the previous quarter. Uh, are you looking at some more revisions in your pricing? Not really, because the only good uh, part in this quarter is actually the raw and packaging material prices are fairly uh, benign and therefore uh, there is really no strain on the gross margins. Uh, and also for us, there's really no reduction in the market shares. But uh, we have been uh, pushing for increase in market shares and especially uh, since we are the single biggest hair oil in the country today, we would like to take this uh, difference between us and the number two even uh, further. And that is something that uh, requires investment both in distribution and more so in communication. And that's why if you look at our uh, results this quarter, you'll see that we have upped our ASP by more than two percentage points versus sales. Okay. All right. So, you know, going forward now, we've seen, uh, for instance, on the Bajaj almond drops, uh, market share seeing an improvement. Talk to us about that. Um, almond cooling oil uh, also had a pan in their launch this year. How's the response been? I mean, which are the growth segments as you see it going forward and ones also where you see comfortable margin expansion? I think uh, in terms of market share, Almond Drop continues to do well and uh, we are working on uh, uh, increasing our reach and spends in a few states where we are trying out an experiment in terms of 
uh, how we can uh, sort of increase the gap between the number one and number two players or become the number one in all the states that we are present in. Uh, in terms of cooling oil, we have notched up a 1.3% market share within the cooling oil industry, uh, which is a good uh, uh, launch. And if you compare with the other five or six launches that in hair oil that happened in the first quarter, this would be the fastest uh, uptick that you can see there. In terms of margin, like I rightly uh, pointed out initially, there isn't too much of strain. And as uh, we have been talking in the past also, we, uh, we actually focus on maintaining gross margins. And therefore, we, when uh, uh, the raw material prices are down, we do upstock. And keeping that in mind, we have upstock till October for our main raw material, which is light liquid paraffin. So I don't in see any uh, sort of strain on the margins, and therefore it's very unlikely that the MRPs of our main brand, which is Bajaj Almond Drops, will go up in the near future. It's to deal with uh, such a marked slowdown, which was not like a planned uh, one. I mean, this slowdown has hit everybody. Are you looking at uh, are you looking at uh, going slow in terms of introducing new categories? Are you looking at cutting your production down? Are you looking at delaying your capex? Are you looking at cutting your advertising? Or perhaps all of the following what I mentioned? Oh, those are doomsday uh, actions, and I don't think we are anywhere near doomsday. Uh, in fact, we in Bajaj would like to do the reverse because we strongly believe that when the growths are down that's when you build brands and therefore you will see very high spends on ASP in the coming quarters. Uh, reduc reduction of production really doesn't work because the levels we are still growing and therefore if at all production will have to go up to mean that meet that kind of a demand. So I don't think it's doomsday at, as of now and the picture that you uh, just uh, painted is something you do when you're really down and out and I don't think this industry or for that matter uh, we are down and out. I think it's a blip. This blip might last another quarter or two and uh, we are not taking uh, sort of uh, retrogative uh, uh, actions on this at all. Start uh, with uh, your opening remarks that you are not a pessimistic but the situation is not great. When do you think things logically will improve in and around yeah. festival season or do you think for this year we should not be in for a meaningful recovery? When I said this year I'm referring to the calendar year, uh, I'm hoping that by Jan they will recover but I want to hear you out. See, I said we are not pessimistic, we are cautious. And by cautious, I mean that we'll have to wait and watch. Uh, I also agree with you that things do turn uh, uh, during uh, the uh, agriculture uh, uh, reaping season or sometime in October, November, which happens to be the time Diwali ha happens. So harvesting will happen at that time and probably with the increase in MSPN, uh, uh, the kind of uh, requirements that are the demands that are there for staples, you could see, uh, see some more cash coming into the rural economy and therefore the rural consumption could go up. So uh, I, I would wager to say that the third quarter of this uh, fi uh, financial year or the last quarter of this calendar year, you'll see some kind of uh, uptick. All right. Thank you so much for taking time out and joining in. Mr. Malhotra, giving us a view on, uh, you know, how things are shaping up for the segment, your focus on market share, as well as the outlook on your pricing. That's Bajaj Consumer Care for you.